What is up, everybody? This your boy Vlad coming with a January recap video. Now, since I I did uh, about thirty seven trades in the uh, month of January, since I did so much, I can't go like line by line to each individual trade. Um, I do have a little bit of commentary on Profitly. So if you want to look and see what my thought process was behind those trades, you can certainly go there. I'll leave a link in the description for profit, Profitly. But the, t the tally is up. All my trades are in. So for the month of January, I made in profits uh, $6,107.88. All doing this part time because I do have a full time job, but I did all this part time on my days off. So I'm gonna cover a few trades with you. Um, some stuff that I did wrong. Um, yeah. So the first one is actually it, it is F cell. F cell. This is like one of the ones that I wish I could take back because. You know, I I butchered this trade, and as you can see, I lost four hundred and ninety dollars um, on that single trade. Um, so my thought behind it on F cell, let me get it pulled up. This trade happened on the second. All right, there's the trade right here. F cell. All right, let me get the daily pulled up. Zoom in. So this was my thought process behind F cell. This this uh, stock was trading around sixty cents. Then from sixty cents, I would consider this like the very first day because it had this big move. So it went one, two, three, four days with green days. I would even count this as I would count this as a green day due to the fact that you know it didn't even come close to the high of that day. So it had four green days. And what was the telltale sign for me was this huge gap up right here. Then it tried to fail, but it did catch itself and went up. Once I saw, it was right around, once I saw this big, big dip, this big line, this came down, whoop, automatically I knew it was the end of f cell as far as uh, for that particular session. So in here, I decided I wanted to go short. So I started going short. Not only did I just decide to go short, I decided pre-market. Matter of fact, it was right around, like, yeah, right around here. Cause as soon as the market, as soon as seven o'clock hit, I started going in short. Not only did I go in short, but I went full size. And in my mind, I was thinking like, okay, so I'm gonna go full size. Um, it might, you know, hit, uh, hit the day, uh, hit the previous days closed then just come down so i watched the thing started ripping 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 it finally topped at the 290s once it did a little dip i got out so i lost 490 dollars on that single trade and the bad part about it too is after i cut this uh during pre-market i went into another trade SAVA and that was like my second day trade of that day so I was out of day trade so on that day and again with that one I did pre-market as well Alright, 
because it had this had this gap up. Then I saw it started failing. So being the fact that it started failing, I automatically got in. And once I got in, I got out. <clears throat> out of day trades. So F sell when it was really doing its thing and for me to actually get out of F sell. You know, I didn't have any day trade left, so I was stuck like Chuck, just watching this thing collapse without me. So, never go pre-market full size, wouldn't recommend it. Um, if you do go uh, pre-market, especially if you're shorting a stock like I was, um, definitely recommend, um, at least this is what, I impl what I'm implementing now, and just take in smaller size because I could always scale up. I'd rather get a small size and this thing actually dump and I, you know, make a little bit of money versus going full size and getting squeezed and losing a lot of money. So, yeah, F sell. Definitely wish I could take that back because as you can see, 290 and it dropped all the way down to 180, 189. So yep uh the next one here let me get it pulled up so we got f cell 490 so much i lost um dare that was a really good one for me so for dare i made 736 dollars there's 736 dollars and this was a bounce short. So that's actually one of the, the highest percentage as far as play for me to win on. And typically on bounce shorts, I do pretty well on it. So let me find out the date that I traded this. This was on January 13, 2020. My entry was $2.27. And I exit out of it at a dollar and fifty three cents. There goes my proof. Seven hundred and thirty six dollars. And let me give you guys the skinny, the rundown behind it. All right, so it's on this day, I believe. Yep, on thirteen. Yep, thirteen. And with this, I had like all the conviction in the world. And the reason why I knew to go short was because of this right here. On this particular day, uh, let, me, let me just reverse it real quick. 180. That should be straightforward. Right, it is. Boom. Put this as the one year. All right. So on this particular day, it traded forty nine million in volume. So I automatically knew that there's going to be some type of heavy resistance. A lot of bag holders, the people who were, um, you know, still in the trade from around that time period. Anytime that this thing would have a, a pop. Normally, there's going to be some uh, sell-off. So, I had conviction, strong conviction. So, as this thing started spiking, I started shortening. Shortening, I started shortening, shortening. Then, eventually, I got in full size. Well, actually, I didn't get full size. Um, I still had some more um, held just in case if it got to, like, the 280s uh three three dollars mark so i still held some more just in case if it spiked even more so but luckily i was able to get in with i think a thousand shares yep a thousand shares and i had an average of 227 so 227 and it had big volume i knew this was going to be a nice play so by the time 
So I was already in by the time the market opened on this little dip here. That's when I decided to get out because I looked at it, looked at it. I was up seven hundred something dollars, and it went from you know two fifty, and it dropped all the way down to one fifty something. That was about a dollar range. I figured, yep, it's time for me to get out. Good call. I did, and boom, got out. And I don't think I I had any more. Uh, trades left because or else I probably would have played it again but yeah this was like a 32% winner um, very very good with a thousand shares made $736 in that day and I was like on to the next um, AEMD this was this is probably my biggest loss yeah my biggest loss uh, well I guess it's a new year <laughs> I was going to say my biggest loss this year. Um, and the thing about AEMD, as you're going to see, is i actually been in this trade since 10 24 2019. So, I was in this trade. <laughs> I was in the trade uh, trying to play reverse splits. And this was my thought behind it. Did a reverse split. And I got in at 10.14, wait, 10.24, and I got real lucky on this one, 10.24, so I got in, this is the day that I got in, so mind you, I got in pretty low, next day we had a gap, and this thing got all the way up to like $4.80 something, so I was up maybe about what 60 or 70 cents with the small account and this is and this is when i was having trouble like of taking profits i wanted the big home run so at the time like it popped up i had profits for a couple of days i had it on this day this day this day and i still didn't want to take it i'm sitting there thinking like okay news is about to come any minute and when the news come, this thing might go to ten dollars. You know what I mean? That's 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 the mindset I was thinking. It might go to ten dollars, and I'm gonna be banking. Nope. This thing did the total opposite. Announced earnings, dropped down. Still could have got out with the with the scratch. You know, like three, maybe three hundred dollar loss, which would have just been a, a not really a scratch, a, a cut. <laughs> A little cut with my account size at the time but then this started trending downwards i'm like oh my god this thing need to have some type of news sometime no news nothing 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 then finally get news on this day just for it to be an offering i was like oh my god you gotta be kidding me so keep in mind now the backstory behind this was um because um, I wanted to have more day trade, I split my account up from my trade zero account to my TD, uh, not CD, but E trade account. So I did half and half. So at this point in time, I had roughly about three thousand dollars in this account. So from the three thousand with the offering, my account size man dropped down to like I think a thousand. I was like, oh new then not to mention it just got even worse this thing got down to a dollar and it fell below a dollar then it just kept falling then it got as low as 76 cents i'm like look i'm already losing this amount you know this much in my account um so i i don't need to you know i don't need to sell it hopefully you get a pop you know and if they do, then I get out. So luckily, you know, we got this little move right. Wait, when did I get out? The 16, I think. Yep. Got this little move right here. So from that little move, and I missed, you know, getting out right around here closer. But as soon as I saw it, it was at like two. 
it hit three dollars um and they were struggling with the three dollars i was like man i put a market order got out at 286.41 boy was i so glad so by the time you know by the time i got everything situated this i lost 833 dollars so more of this story is when you have the profits take the profit i can't believe like you know, I was having such a hard time with just taking profits. Like, I just couldn't stop. Like, I would be up, and I'm thinking, like, okay, this stock could go to the moon. So, started last, this month, and I think that's the biggest change for me. When I have profits, I'm taking it, you know? $300, $400, I'm taking it. I'm not trying to wait to try to get $1,000, you know? Eventually, it's going to come where I'm going to be able to make $1,000 in a day consistently, but my account size need to start growing first. So that was the biggest takeaway that I got from uh, the month of January, and that's why I think my account grew faster than the other months because other months I was making like $1,000 a month, 2000 Now this tripled because I'm just taking profits more consistently. So that was that. Um, S-I-N-T. Um, that was a really good trade for me, too. And that was another uh, gap up. Gap up short. S-I-N-T. I think that was it. S-I-N-T. Yeah, this was a gap short. And this was on E-Trade. So, now that I have my E-Trade account back up, I'm able to trade as well, too. So, I have a little bit more uh, day trade. But it was on this day. And this little spike right here. And I've been had this line right here already drew out. Because I knew that's what warrants. And warrants was that from, uh, from previous. Um, only thing that I don't like about E-Trade, especially when you're shorting, um, you have to go full size. So if I try to scale in each time I add an order, it actually counts as a day trade versus the exit, which is real stupid. So with this, um, I remember I, I got caught in an offering on this uh, stock before. And it had like previous, res a lot of resistance in the 280s because I was playing this. Like, it was right around here. It had, like, a lot of resistance in the 280. So, every time it tried to pop, couldn't pop. And eventually did an offering. Um, so, I know this time around, okay, the place that I want to be short at is around 280. So, that's where I did. I went full size. Uh, 1,100 shares at 280. So this thing ripped up. I knew it was going to come eventually come down, but I wasn't expecting this much pull. Once I saw I did this little crack right here, so I knew it was uh, pretty much done. Then I wrote it down. So this was like real easy. And again, with bounce short, all I did was uh, see where's the resistance at, which were here. 25 million, 19 million. So I combined those two together. I knew there were going to be resistance and back holders. So it ripped, came down, and I got out like right around here, right around this turn right here. So right before the market even even started, I was already done with this trade. So it definitely was a very good trade. And my last trade that I'm gonna go over it, it was is the best trade uh, that I had this uh, this year. <laughs> it's only January, but yeah. It is APT. APT is like probably the one of the best. Yeah, one of the best trades as far as in executing. And I even got in on this kind of late. Um, I got in on APT. 
because I knew the weekend. It's gonna have the weekend buzz. Okay. Yep, it was this one. There was a couple of things going for it. It was on this day. So first the coronavirus, that's when it, you know, first started announcing more sadly more people were dying and more people were getting diagnosed diagnosed with it. And I know throughout the weekend more fear is going to come. It's going to hit a lot of major outlet, major circuit. And not only that, coronavirus stock it had Seeing coronavirus stocks. All right, there it is. Right here. It had this article out. So within the article, it says 13, 13 coronavirus related stock to watch. And this was on January twenty third. What day did I trade on it? I'll trade on the end of the 24th because I knew there was going to be another leg up. So I know this article was going to spread more people in the weekend. They're going to see it. It's going to hit major outlet. People are going to look for coronavirus stocks. So everything was in the play for this. So what I did decided to do, I at least wanted to see it run. So it started running pre-market had a little run boom 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 and i actually bought it like right around here right before the market actually closed and not to mention nnbc on that day too that was considered the sector leader so on the 24th which would be which would have been I actually did buy this too. Right here, that was running. So I did the same thing, bought it because based upon that was a sector leader. If you know sympathy plays um, with sympathy, you follow the leader. That's what it is. Just follow the leader. And that's what I did. So I bought it, expecting this gap up. And at one point in time, I was up $2,000 during pre market. When it was like in the, excuse me, when it was right around here, instead of taking a profit, I was like, nah, this thing could go a little bit higher. <laughs> but luckily, when I saw that it started dipping past the VWAMP area in the pre-market, I was like, yeah, let me just go ahead and take it. So I took the profit, $1,500. So that was, uh, I said, a really, really good trade. So before even the market opened, I made fifteen hundred dollars. My entry was six dollars and forty two cents and my exit was seven dollars and ninety three cents, which was a really, really good trade. So, yeah, my biggest takeaway again, guys, for January is take your profits when you have it. Hopefully this video was uh, helpful. Like I said, uh, I do have other trades that you can go down through the list at Profitly. Um, and that way, you know, you can read some of my commentary of what I was thinking when I got in the trade. But, yep. Yeah, so hopefully du um, I could duplicate this again in the month of February. It already started. Um, and that trade should be posted tomorrow. Made uh, made a small amount. I think I made like 80 bucks or 90 bucks or something like that. But yeah, so this is Vlad signing off. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.